guitarist John Five appeared recently on Eddie Trunk's satellite radio program to talk about his time so far in Motley Crue and revealed what former guitarist Mick Mars texted him when he was announced as the band's new guitarist. Prior to joining Motley Crue, John Five had been the longtime guitarist for Rob Zombie and told Trunk he had a long-standing relationship with the guys from Motley Crue stating, I've been friends with Nicky and Tommy forever. I'm so close to Nicky. We talk probably 80 times a day for a decade. We've done so much work together. Other than music, we're just always around. He was the best man at my wedding. We always go to the mall and ride bikes and just do total normal stuff. The guitarist would go on to reveal that Rob Zombie and Motley Crue were on the road at the same time. But after both groups got off the road, he was playing with his group John Five and The Creatures. And it was at that time all the drama with Mick Mars and Motley Crue was going on. John Five would go on to add they were off tour and I was still doing some shows and Nicky called and said, listen, Mick is going to retire and we have these obligations from Live Nation. We have South America booked. We have Europe booked. Do you want to come on board? Five would respond, absolutely. But the guitarist still had to go tell Rob Zombie the news, telling Trunk I talked to Rob and he understood. Rob is a smart, rational person. He wasn't psyched, but he understood. I think that was amazing of him and he was just like, go get him. He was fine about it. They got Mike Riggs, who I think is a great, great addition, adding that there is no bad blood between himself and Zombie. John Five would add about the first text he received from Mick Mars telling Junk in the Trunk, when I was announced as the guitar player, he was one of the very first texts that I got, and he said, you're going to kill it. It's good. It's not like it's some stranger coming in. We have a great respect for each other. He would also address the rumors that the band plays to a backing track, telling Trunk, do you really think that we would put a mistake on a track or something? No, it's crazy. It's so crazy. But 100% he plays every single note on there. Just listen to the shows before you make these statements, because you'll hear mess ups and that's what rock and roll is. That does it for today's video guys, and we'll see you later.